But don't worry. I got footage of the bug. Which... I hate bugs very much. And Mandis isn't a fan of killing bugs either. (laughs) (laughs) So it's still alive. The secret is out. (laughs) No, it was killed with a broom. (laughs) Straight up. So long, Anyway, bug. We're ready to roll. Yeah, we got uh, Alexandra about to come on. I know she's she's a... waiting so yes. let's uh let's talk about alexandra ross for a little bit here yes alexandria ross she came out of the woodworks at the 2018 uh mpc national championships in miami where she won her class and then went on to win the overall at nationals which you know i feel as if any competitor knows who's actively competing um the different national shows have a different stamina Um, and NPC nationals in Miami at the end of the year, um, along with NPC USA championships, totally toughest national shows. um, And to come out and win an overall at either of those shows is incredible to win an overall. Any national show is incredible. Um, But Alexandria definitely showed something special and that has, obviously continued and progressed into her pro career so she kind of came out of the gate swinging yeah absolutely yeah, that's so a, that's a, that is a victory right absolutely and it has been a gradual progression of just seeing her more seeing her more she won her first show this year um which qualified her for the olympia as well so she went to the olympia in 2019 and now here she is coming and invited to the 2020 arnold classic so yeah young um has an awesome personality she's so much fun so i'm so excited to have her on here and I I've, I've competed with her. We've ne- we have never had a chance to really like talk, but I know she is really really loved by a lot of people and very respected. So I'm excited yeah. to have her on, meet her and great energy. You're going to love her. I'm yeah. so excited. Oh, Hi. there. <laughs> you're like you're out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. It- Logged me out and then it, it brought me back. That was okay. I was like, are we still calling? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Hi. Hi. I wanted to show you something because I wanted to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh wait. I'm a righty, but <laughs> uh, and then what do you Cheers. have on yours? You know? Yeah, what do you have on yours? So this is a coffee cup I made. It says cream, coffee, cafe latte oh so you you make coffee cup just just oh this is just something i made <laughs> whipped it together <laughs> this was a gift <laughs> i don't make cups. you didn't make that you didn't know i would have no idea oh. wow well, <laughs> boo hoo <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh, the old says that? there is whipped cream in here um, no this is this is tea after after that night yesterday morning chris is like no You're more not as you are. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's this, documented. This cold. <laughs> yeah, black. How do you like your coffee? Well, I do like it with loads of sugar and creamer, if I'm being honest. But <laughs> right now, it's just kind of plain. That yeah. always surprises me when I just, I don't know why I feel like, I don't know. Ignore me. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, welcome. We yeah, yeah, that's, not, that's not our official welcome. Here. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> up, spit out, put, put together. together. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> I, wait, I have to ask, how does your camera look like that? Okay, so what does it look like? Because I don't, I'm like this big, but you guys Do, are. Does it look, um, like a por- almost it's like portrait mode yeah. or something oh does it make it's like it all good? blurry oh yeah it's like oh, all yeah, blurry it's around you it's just you I don't honestly I, I don't know um 
<laughs> I didn't do anything. I just logged back in because it signed me out. And then, oh, if there's filters on Skype that we don't know about, I'm gonna be bombed. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I would like to know about this too. I'm like, what do you? <laughs> I need a Paris filter today. <laughs> <laughs> Paris, Paris fixes. I tell my Botox lady, I'm like, make me look like Paris. <laughs> like, if it's not Paris, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that, actually. I kind of can see now what it's doing. So. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Roll well, it looks it. great. It looks great. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Well, here we are on the Bikini Show. I'm Sarah Lyon, Camille Perriot, and we have Miss Alexandria Ross on today. Hello. She was the 2018 MPC National Championships overall bikini winner and totally blew that overall lineup out of the water, if you ask me, and has stayed on the high rise ever since. So give us some background. What well, got you into competing? When did you start? I actually started in 2013. So wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. So I um, yeah, I was doing it um, just kind of as a hobby. I always like to have a goal. So it was it was great. I did my first national show in 2014. We don't count those first ones though because <laughs> that, that was a mess. Um, but but while important. everyone's googling your images, <laughs> but they're they're and that's important for people to know because a lot of people, you know, they get discouraged. They don't win after their first, second, or third time, and it's like not everybody has that fast track. A lot of people have to put their time in the national circuit, and you know, for you, it you did, and it paid off, and you put your time in the NPC. Now, as an IFBB professional, you're like, boom, people know yeah. who you are, and it's paid off. Yeah, that was actually, that's like one big thing I'm very, I love to talk about. At first, I was almost like embarrassed. Like, it took me eight, I think I did eight national shows um, eight. over the course of four years. So, and at first, I was kind of like, and I was always like, I was always right there. I had, it was like fourth place, fourth, like, Constant. One time, I think I even tied for third, and they gave me fourth. <laughs> it was just, I was always close. And um, I took about a year and a half off, and then I came back in 2018. And um, that's when it all kind of came together for me. But it, I mean, I do see a lot of girls that get discouraged when they don't get it right away, and they think it's just so easy. And now, I think it's more competitive than ever. And so... It's it's work and you have to be doing it for the right reasons and and be okay with you know maybe it's gonna take some time. It's work. It's work. It's work when you get to the pro level. You start right back over. <laughs> so, right. So you do you right back to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah. to work your way back up. Yep. So I wouldn't trade in any of those shows because that I really feel like taught me how to work and how to it's like Thank not have expectations and do it for the reasons I want to do it. So. Yeah, absolutely. Now, from when you first started competing and then taking that time off, did anything else change in between? Were you with a previous coach and then made a switch? Had you always worked with Damien and Whitney? I've always, I've been with them from the start. So I'm really, okay. happy. Um, I started with them. Even when I was taking that time off, I would still go in and work out there. I That's just my gym home. Um, yeah. So I just, I traveled, I live life, you know, I, I was working there at the time, I was working for them, and I loved being a part of everything and seeing the girls all get ready, but I just, I needed that break, and I mean, when I was ready, I knew I was ready, and then things kind of aligned, but I needed to take that break for a while, so. Good. Yeah. What a great home gym team to be close to also, like, that's, that's <laughs> really, that's, that's <clears throat> very special. Mm-hmm. I mean, now two-time Miss Fitness Olympia being one of your best yeah. friends and like, your coach, mentor, everything. Give me the show. I'm like, she's so cool. Right. She's, she's not she just is. cool. She's, she's like superhuman. I, when you're around her, she you're just really like, is. how are you this amazing? It, it's like she gives you she, like razzmatazz. Like she gives you zest. Like she gives yeah. you just, and like if she's having a bad day, I can like spice it up. It's just, 
we just feed off each other. It's good. We're it's talking good. about Whitney Jones, everybody. Yes, yes Whitney. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she said to tell you guys hello, and then she loves Aww. you. Aww. <laughs> we love you, Whitney. We do. Oh, awesome. Yeah, you can definitely tell. You guys have so, you know, that's what I was talking. <laughs> well, actually, if we go back to Mine and Camille's first Arnold Classic breakdown that we recorded that we didn't air. <laughs> we got, we went through the whole list and like you were one at the bottom. And, you know, after talking for 45 minutes about all the other girls, you know, we kind of were like, all right, this is a little long. And then <laughs> we had a lot of great things to say about you. Oh, well, thanks, guys. It's okay. <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. She's so fun. Her energy. And I think that's what's so awesome. It's always great to see genuine people. And then, you know, you want to root for them. You want to see the people that you enjoy being around and, and you know, are giving off positive energy into the world, into the industry to do well. So yeah. now here you are getting ready for the 2020 Arnold Classic. What, how crazy you went to the Olympia as a pro pro rookie and just like Yashira yeah who interviewed and now you're going to the 2020 Arnold Classic so how do you feel what are your emotions what is your game plan I mean I'm I'm going <laughs> that's my game plan. <laughs> we have our tickets booked and our hotel booked and we're going <laughs> we're going um, as far as my game plan it's I mean, I'm excited. I'm very excited because I've had some time. First, I'm going to have to admit, I was shocked. Like, I really was shocked. Something I had to work on um, a lot once it was announced was just it, just being okay with being accepted in. I don't, I don't know. I have this, like, weird thing about, um, like, not feeling like, I belong. I don't know. It's like this weird thing. I got to get over it. But anyway, <laughs> so. You know what? I think that's something that all of us feel. So it's totally, it's totally normal. I mean, I, I remember when I saw this and I was like, no. And I kind of was just, I, it's very like, vulnerable to even talk about this, but I was just like, and I, I remember asking Wit when she told me my phone was broken that day. So I didn't know until I went into the gym. <laughs> and everybody's like, yeah, and I'm like, what? <laughs> and they told me, and I remember asking about my teammates that I put in, and I actually <laughs> cried because I was sad for them, and then w was kind of like uh, trying to be accepting of like, but how, why? Like I, it was a lot for me actually, um, because obviously it's something we all want. <laughs> like that's a huge, huge dream. I'm like so grateful, but it was kind of like, wow, at first. Um, so now that I've gotten over that initial, like just being and yeah, like this is all laid out for a reason. And this is part of God's plan for me. I'm, I'm excited. I've had time. My body's different. I'm not so tired, you know, like we were chasing points there for a while. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. And yeah, you just <laughs> made it right <laughs> there at the end. It Man, really kind of was based off of more how the Tampa pro placings ended up going and how those girls ended up placing. Cause that's what kind of configured you in. That was thrilling. That, that was, um, that was a lot. <laughs> how many shows did you do? How many shows did you do in 2019? Okay. So great question. All, all I know is, so from when I came back, I tell people this, people are like, wait, what? So I started back up August 2018. I had to qualify to go to nationals again because I had taken that year and a half off. So between August 2018 to Olympia, September 2019, I did 17 shows. Whoa. Holy so that's wow. PC and pro combined. I did 17 shows. Wow. That's, wow. So, so you that... must be consistent 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 because there's no you know well I mean there is ways but to, to yeah. be healthy to not have huge weight fluctuations during that time and to be able to do 17 shows in that period of time I mean wow that's it, hard you could see like my body I mean I, by Olympia I was tired it was, it was like it was a lot for me to just maintain muscle like it was a lot but um yeah it was 17 
<laughs> so what was your feedback then from the Olympia for uh, the 2020 season? Bigger. It's always just bigger. Bigger, bigger. Yeah. You, well, you were in the NPC, you were in, were you in B class? Um, C. C class. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's always just been bigger, fuller, upper body. So I've had now some time off and um, I'm excited because I think I've improved. So I'm excited. That's awesome. And just kind of compare and see the differences. Oh, of course. That's the best part about it. Like I will compare my pictures from like where I was at like six, I'm five weeks out today. Where, where was I five weeks out last prep? And I want to, if I can see, like, I, if my ultimate goal is, like, I want to see my own personal progress. Like, like, I don't really care. Like, you know, it's like, that's, that's really what I'm wanting to see. If I can see that, then I'm so happy, you know? That's, I mean, that's all I want to, like, I'm doing this for me. So I want to see, like, that. Yeah. Cool. And it will just be so cool to see, like, what just a little break did and, like, what I yep. did in that little break. So I'm... I'm super stoked now that I'm like in it. I got my, my mind game right. I'm ready. I'm good. So awesome. Do you have shows planned for post Arnold already? Um, I think Damien kind of has like a little outline. Um, but I just really for me, I'm just focused on Arnold and I just want to get feedback, see how how I do, like what they say, um, mm -hmm. see how if you I need more time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm willing to take the time or I'm willing to go. It's just kind of based off what the feedback is. So Sure, smart. Yeah. Obviously, you're in yeah. good hands and know what you're doing, and your coaches know what they're doing, too. So there's a lot of people that have a lot of questions for you, though. Okay. <laughs> Camille put out um, an awesome question to see what you guys wanted to hear from Alexandria. So. Let's see. I like this one. I'm going to I'm going to pull it up also. <laughs> Cuz this is this is a really good one because I think a lot of girls struggle with this and a lot of girls try to do it on stage and you guys can probably both give us some input on this one. Do you practice your hair flips when you practice posing or does it just magically happen on stage because you do have perfect hair flips on stage. <laughs> You do. You do the full spin, and then it just flies, and then you strut <laughs> it up. It's awesome. I, I do. I do. I have to practice. I just did it, and it sucked. Absolutely. <laughs> Wait, so you don't practice, Camille, or you do? No, I do. I do. <laughs> if, but I have to have my hair in the right placing before I do the hair flip, too. Yes. It's yeah. like... I mean, my hair... <laughs> That was good. Like mine is very heavy. So it just stays where I, I put it. But oh yeah, I have to. If I don't practice that, I would look like <laughs> I feel like a nail <laughs> my trip. <laughs> yeah. I do. People like your hair because there's another question that is how do you get your hair so shiny and healthy? So I tell people the key to healthy hair is being lazy and just never doing it <laughs> <laughs> isn't that the truth though it is. the less you do to it the healthier it is yeah so do you use extensions for your shows <clears throat> no this is my hair grew it myself lots of love that's and amazing love. that's phenomenal so olympia was my first olympia and the uh golden state was my first time i competed without extensions you and it was amazing they looked great. I, I remember you at Golden State. You looked great. It was great. It, no extensions. And it felt great because whenever I had extensions on, they always felt so heavy. And I was always so self-conscious about them. And I would be messing with them all the time and talk about having to practice your hair flips. It's like moving around. <laughs> or something. And, Wait. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Not wearing That's the extensions. truth. And it's nice. Mm -hmm. I. But, yeah, I think practicing the hair flips just practicing pretty much everything is important so yeah facials is your face my face can look real weird if I try to I think it's cute and then I look in the mirror I'm like oh no <laughs> we're not gonna do that <laughs> so. the smiles the smirks all of it <laughs> everything oh yeah <laughs> all right let's see here 
Well, we already answered some of these questions. So for anyone who we don't actually ask your question, if you listened, you heard the answer. Hmm. Yeah, let's, I'm going to go with this one because we just talked about this with uh, Daraja a little bit. So this is a question now for Alexandria. Are breast implants a must <laughs> if you want to be competitive at the pro level? Let's hear your opinion. I don't think so. I think you can fake it until you make it. There's plenty of them. Brina doesn't have them. And I thought she did until I met her in person. Um, she <laughs> she stuffs that so much. Um, no, it's not. There's absolutely ways around it. So, no. There's a lot of pros that I thought have them that don't. And <laughs> don't. it's amazing how much we can push up without needing them. I mean, it's stuffing. You get those push pat. You get your cut right. You the can. Cut. Yeah. It's crazy what a cut can do alone just to how the breasts look on stage. Because if you have too much fabric, I mean, my gosh, I remember it was... Uh, the year that I had gotten my breast augmentation done and I went and competed later that year and my mom who wasn't you know all about me getting them done to begin with she saw my stage pictures and she texted me and she said what did we spend that money on <laughs> it doesn't look <laughs> like you have boobs and sure enough I was in such a poorly cut suit I just had so much fabric that it covered so much that you really couldn't really tell unless you really looked so it's it's wild what a cut like you said the stuffing all of that makes such a big difference for athletes yeah I mean and actually through the season even like that's something I'm so big on with like all of our athletes like suit cut like I had to get different bottoms made throughout all of last season just because like too big of bottoms that can like eat your butt and make your butt look like the smaller the bottom for me, the better, the rounder. So like suit cut for both top and bottom is like crucial. It can really affect how you look on stage. So, I mean, it can help me make my glutes look bigger, flatter around. Like there's just so much. So with the top too, especially like if there's ways around it. Who did, yeah. who do you, who, who makes your suits, Alexandria? Um, her name is Jessica Maxman and she's with Glam Girl Swimwear. And she okay. is awesome. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, she's local to Arizona too. So that's awesome. Cool. There you go. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> I look at. The, oh, sorry. I, I'm looking at, I was like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was looking through the questions, <clears throat> and I have um somebody. I know you had kind of said D Damien had a plan for you and kind of like a map out. Are you planning on competing? as much as you did last year to get back to Olympia if you have to or less? Um, I'm the goal is less. Absolutely. Yeah. The goal is to make the improvements I need to make. Not have to do that. Absolutely. Yeah. I would like to focus more on work this year and helping others more so than it's a lot. I mean, you know, it's a lot to compete and work and do Ever. it's a lot well and travel you tra you travel quite a bit I see you all around the country with Damien and Whitney so you know tell us a little bit about how you balance that while staying on track uh with everything else I just you just do it <laughs> do it you just do it I don't know um I mean obviously you pack your food you know you pack your meals um it, it's it's so I feel like there was a point in the summer where I never unpacked. Like I just rotated the same clothes out of <laughs> put my luggage. The clean ones stay yeah. in, the dirty ones go to the laundry. <laughs> Ziploc bags. I could never have enough Ziploc bags. Everything, all my like supplements, everything, Ziploc baggies. Um, I, you just, I don't know. You just kind of do it. It's, it's mm -hmm. just, um, that's not a great answer, but Food, I mean, I always carry on all my food. Um, I'll freeze a lot of it, and then so that keeps the rest of the food cold. So it's a tip mm -hmm. out. Um, but, yeah, and then we always try to stay by, like, a Whole Foods or a Sprout. So that helps. 
but that's always money when you land at a hotel that's right by one of those. Literally money, because <laughs> oh yeah, because so you're going there at least once or twice. We always forget stuff, right? I don't know. Like, I don't know what's in this box. <laughs> a twenty dollar salad. For- there was a few questions about food, dieting, and like how you will, I guess, uh, counteract if you have a like a unplanned snack or something. With um with Damien and Whitney, don't you guys utilize like a flexible dieting style? Yeah. All right. So why don't you share a little bit about how you currently diet? Because it also shows a lot for how you're able to do 17 shows last mm-hmm. season and transition in and out. Um, so share a little bit about that. Yes. So um, they are, everything is macro based with them. Um, I definitely will take those macros and I make kind of my own set meal plan. I, I like to be very repetitive, basic foods. Um, I also know what works for my body. So like I do higher fats, not so great on me, but like sugar, my body really responds well to sugar. So like when I get a treat meal and stuff, I know kind of stay on the higher carb side versus fats. Um, and that kind of stimulates a lot. I, I actually, I'm very proud to say I went to a hormone doctor after Olympia about like six weeks after. And I kind of told him he's used to working with athletes and stuff. And, um, he, I told him, I was like, look, Dr. Chris, I did 17 shows. And he was like, Oh my God. (laughs) He's like, okay, we're going to do blood work. And when I came back, he's like, it's beautiful. Like I'm shocked. And I really think that's a testament. Like Damien Witt, like every weekend, I mean, I did get a refeed and they, they wanted me to eat. And, um, you know, like it was kind of like show after show after show food got bumped up versus decreased, you know, once your body gets rolling, it gets rolling. And so, Oh, you're, you're, re- you're reversing. Yes. You're mm-hmm. reversing into that show. And so it was never, and like, don't get me wrong. Like I died. <laughs> you have to diet to a certain extent. Like I was dieting and there was days where I was tired, but I really think um, one of the biggest things that got me through that year was just like every weekend we would be able to have like, a day or I would be able to have like a day where it's untracked and I could eat what I felt I needed and kind of just get that boost. And then it would get me through the week. And so I, how far out from like your show, would you do that? Would you stop doing like a full day of untracked or free eating all the way up to the shows? Yeah, I would do, no, I would usually like if the show was Saturday, I would still get something on Sunday. Mm-hmm. And like I'm not, I'm not a wild, like crazy, like ah, eat, 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 eat. Like I'm, I'll have extra of what I usually eat, and then I'll go and eat a meal somewhere. Like I, and every every person's different. So like I've been doing this so long, I know what works for me. So I, I'm yeah. sufficient in that. But like we definitely have athletes where we give them like higher numbers for, for a certain day, or, or if we know like they are triggered by foods, we'll be like, okay you know, burger fries, that's it. Or we give him like more outline. But for me, just, I like the mental freedom of not having to like check, 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 check. So that was great for me. Um, And I truly believe like those things each week got me through in a healthy way. So I think it takes, um, I think it takes time. And I, I've noticed that the athletes that do better with a more tracking style, they've been around longer, you know, like you've been competing for it's years, hard. you've been competing for years, but you, you've experienced the more restricted, if you will, dieting, the more old school way. And then you gradually graduated to this. It wasn't, you started off with this and this is how you did your first show. I don't think I've ever, you know, seen that, um, or, or know about it at least to say the least. I mean, um, and it, started, it was meal plan, 12 almonds, right. and meal two and four. And right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I think once you go through that, you, you understand the fundamentals and then you can kind of play around with it a little bit more. Um, you know, it's hard with, there's so much information out there and there's so many opinions 
Um, and it's hard to just stay focused on one person's, you know, your coach or, um, you know, you really got to make sure that you trust what is set out for you, because if not, then it's easy to deviate from it. For sure. For sure. And no, you're absolutely right. Like, it, I think just giving people numbers and being like, go for it. It's, it's hard for a lot of, even for our athletes starting out, like we'll give them a food list. And then right. Like, yeah. Food. We were just talking about that I yeah. think, uh, last week about, you know, flexible dieting and how, you know, it's, it's the successful athletes and people, the athletes who are at your level that are doing a more flexible style, they're, they're not just eating like, like, oh, this Oreo has this, you know, it's still like, it's still like the complex carbohydrates, very clean foods, and you're just adjusting the macros when needed. Absolutely. Yes. And right now it's basic. It's boring. It's basic. I have that flexibility if I want to, but I really do. This close, I like to be very repetitive and basic. It's just what. Smart. Mm -hmm. It works. Yes. Right. It works. It works. Right. And you right. know when to fix if something's off. So. Right. No need to yeah. fix something that's not broken. Exactly. So as we, as we are four weeks out, are you guys um, feeling like happy and on track for the Arnolds? Is there any aggressive changes happening? Are you guys kind of coasting in? I think we're just coasting. Nothing aggressive. Um, I'm going to Pittsburgh in a couple of weeks. So I'm excited about that. Yay. That'll be fun. Are you going to go and do it? I did it last year. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's a great, it's a great experience. I'm excited to do the Pittsburgh experience. Um, so I think right now I'm just kind of getting in a good place for that. But everything's been everything's been good. My reports have been good, so <laughs> I'm good. I have no doubt. I bet you're a happy dieter, an easy dieter, no mood swings for you or anything like that. You're always happy whenever oh, I see well, you. I'm a girl. I get mood swings. <laughs> But <laughs> just once a month. <laughs> but on prep, that once a month sucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. It gets low yeah. there. I like, do you ever, I'll be like, why am I crying? I'm like watching something. Like, what is wrong? And then it happens. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I just can't stop like wanting to, like, like, I, like cravings. Like for like four days, you're just like, oh my God, I'm going to go insane. And then it goes away. And you're just like, ah, I'm normal. But, Hard right. dieting on the period or menstrual really hard. Yeah, it's, it's dieting in general is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Takes mental strength, that's for sure. Camille, I think you. Um, I don't Looking know dark. what happened. <laughs> Am I dark? Is it really dark? Yeah. Okay, Did the sun go down? Yeah. <laughs> Am I still portrait? <laughs> What's happening? You are me? still portrait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a there we bit. go. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Oh, you're fine. Well, now you have the Arnold's. You're not going to reveal what's after the Arnold's. <laughs> <laughs> So a couple people though are asking what your how you do your glute training. So can you give us a little insight on that? Yes. So recently, I love glute. I'm a bikini athlete. So we all love um, <laughs> But I actually have been doing a ton now that they're developed. I have just been doing so much band work lately just so much because my quads like to take over with everything and so I really am finding with bands that's just helping just to activate where it needs to be activating and do its job so right it changes every prep I've had preps where I'm just constantly lifting heavy 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 um right now I feel like they're at a point where they're very developed and I don't need them to be overdeveloped and then need to focus on kind of bringing down my quads a little to match everything. So I am doing just tons of bands, just bands. I am a band. That is it. <laughs> you know, what's funny <laughs> that you say that because, um, in the past I did a lot of band workouts, like a lot of bands. And then I kind of like took, I was 
this past prep, I've been like just training a lot heavier, like heavier weight training. And recently I started adding a couple of like band exercises, not even band days. They annihilate. Oh my God. I'm like, how did I used to have the, the biggest tolerance for bands? I could just like crab walk all over the place. And now <laughs> I think I'll do like a few reps and I'm just like, woo. Yeah. Burn. <laughs> I'll do, I'll do like a lot of like hamstring work, like to get the, you know, like hamstring, but oh man, I know I had a client come in the other day and she's like, I don't feel the bands. And I'm like, okay, we're not doing something right. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Just did her foot placing. And she was like, I can't, like she could not do it. So there is something to be said for bands. I, I love them. I'm huge on them. So yeah. Yeah. There you go. Bands it is. Bands. (laughs) I do do, band I do do weights, okay, but a lot of my glute specific stuff is like reverse hypers with the band, hip thrust with the band, single leg hip thrust, body like a lot of it is just body weight, and it's kind of incredible how much if you're activating and recruiting that muscle and really thinking about it, yeah. how much you can get yeah. good pump. Fine muscle connection makes mm-hmm. a huge difference. Yeah. I think the key is just doing a lot of every different type of thing not doing anything too much of the same thing like adding in like if someone asks like what do you do to hit the upper glutes or to do to hit the you know to to develop the side well we're doing like maybe there's like 15 different exercises that we're doing at different times when we train our glutes rotating them around to hit every aspect so throwing in bands weight training it's all important Oh, absolutely. And that's what I, I'm like really big on. Like there's not one right way to train. Like there truly is not. Every body is different. And like I said, like some preps, it's just been, it's been loading. Like it's so different every single time. So right now what's working for me is a lot of bands, a lot of hamstring work, minimal like leg work that recruits any of my quads. Um, But yeah, it's just what she said. There's, you gotta do a little bit of everything. I mean, it's different every time. So yeah, there's not one right way. I don't think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Always a different way to train things. And I like that you just said too that you know every prep is different. You know that it that's the truest thing. I can't tell you how many times going through a prep and it being different, and you're holding weight in a different area than you were the last prep, and it's yeah. It's amazing how the body just keeps evolving <laughs> after each contest prep, right? <laughs> yeah, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I've noticed that, that I was getting like towards the end from like belt. I've never had it in my stomach. I was like, what is this? Like, yeah, it's never been the problem. But yeah, no, it's it shifts. It's weird. I don't. Yeah, it is weird. I thought it was maybe just me. I thought it was. I'm like, maybe this is just like my age, but. Yeah. Nope. Hey, you're a <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> we talk about it. I'm like, what is her secret? Oh my gosh, she is J Lo. <laughs> right. Uh, well, thank you. But mm-hmm. it's a hot topic. Trudy <laughs> in my forehead. That just that just means you're getting lean. <laughs> That's true. I'm like, okay. When you know there. the vein comes in. <laughs> and when I'm hot, it comes out. It's like, oh, yes. it's so gross. <laughs> I know some some girls have that, like, like Whitney, Narman, they have this, like, amazing oh, vein this, on the shoulder. Yeah. I have the forehead. <laughs> I get the forehead vein, too. If I laugh too hard, it comes out. So It's, just it's almost so Harry Potter-like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just... We're not- just make it see I even have one and I'm not in contest prep (laughs) it's all the soul cycle yeah yeah (laughs) a little tired today so are you wearing the same suit color okay well I should take that back because you wore different suit colors are you gonna wear blue or red again I'm actually getting a new suit I just oh and you wore green yeah I'm like (laughs) a rainbow (laughs) Yeah, you have worn a lot of colors now that I just asked that. I like Wow. Oh. Mm-hmm. So, are we going to see another new color? Yes. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Try it out. Just why not? 
uh-huh. <laughs> it was courageous that way. I'm just always like, nope, I'm blue. <laughs> you're you just you're just you like what you know, and that's it. You don't you don't like to mix it up a lot. I'm afraid to like mix it up, and then something like just like get, have it backfire. Yeah. yeah, there is that. There is that risk. Absolutely, through. absolutely. No, you're right. Um, what did you What did you win? <clears throat> what did you win your show in? Because that was a big win. Royal green. Well, wait, was- Owen was green. Miami was red. Um, Who was the one that you wore blue for? Vancouver. I got fourth in Vancouver. That was blue. That royally blue. Um, so, what is, I'm, looking, I'm looking at the stage lighting at the Arnold's right now. Yes. Yeah, so that's the thing. I look and don't wear red. That red is a not, very red background. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I did not look good. I saw red and I was like, oof, no reds. And, but yeah. the, um, the purples and the blues, I think, looked great on stage at the Arnold. Hint, hint, wink, oh, wink. It'll be blue or purple. So blue I'm, or purple. We're all blue I'm, and purple there. It's blue and purple. <laughs> doing? <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, my gosh. But that's another thing I don't think um, a lot of people think to look at is previous stage photos and, like, what, like, the lighting and, like, Pittsburgh pro and that lighting like that's lighting that's never changed and that is so important too so i know it's not like reasonable to get a new suit but renting or thinking about suit or suit colors it's good to have a few different of them to have like Mm -hmm. i'll I'll even bring i'll even bring them like two different options to shows and that way it's like you can like i remember last the olympias have been changing their their stage the prejudging last year, it was all blue. This year, I forgot what it was. It was like purple and blue last year. They kind of changed up a little bit. Mm-hmm. But one year, I was like, there's so much blue. I don't know if I want to wear my blue suit because it's all blue in the background. But it's good to have options because you never know. And it's good to always have a backup with you because you oh. never know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because you know the girls aren't going to be like, oh, you can take mine. Right. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're so broke. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Quick wardrobe. We have our dress, and I will lend them out. So it's fine. <laughs> you can come I to would me, too. But... <laughs> I would too. As we well, as we pull a thread. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Great. Well, <laughs> Alexandria, I'm super excited to see what you've done with the short amount of time. I know you're in really good hands, so we know that you've definitely made some changes to your physique, and you're always a pleasure to watch on stage. So four weeks away until we see you in Columbus. Yay! I'm excited. And how are you? I didn't even ask you. I'm so rude. How are you feeling, Camille? Like, are you feeling good? Does anybody ask you how you're doing? <laughs> Checking you. I think you. almost everyone has asked you now. Okay. Yeah. How are you doing? I feel. I feel I feel gr- I feel great. I feel great. Um, I feel like I honestly I need to start practicing my posing a little bit. I haven't practiced yet, so I need to like brush that off a little bit and warm up. Maybe I don't know if you feel this way too, but it seems like um, I think it's because there's been a shift with the whole bikini champion right now, and people are kind of like are kind of like rethinking their pose a little bit. I posted something their night like this angle or this angle. So I'm, I'm kind of relearning my angles a little bit, you know, do we flare out our lats a little bit more, you know, do we, you know, or just stick to what I know. And I think I'm just going to stick to what I know because otherwise it looks like I'm trying too hard and it's going to come across looking lame. Mm. Yeah. Staying true to you is huge. Looking comfortable and confident. Yes. Yeah. When you're trying to do something like I've, oh, um, like Marine, her posing. Do you guys know who I'm talking about? Marine. I don't know how to say her last name. It starts with a B. She's a pro. She's amazing. And she does this like. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, oh, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I tried it. <laughs> What's that? I said I tried it. <laughs> how did I go? <laughs> I've never looked so dumb before. <laughs> Who won the Tampa Marine? Who won the Tampa Pro? Yes. She's 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 insane. She's she. I thought she was gonna actually possibly win the Olympia. She's she's a she has an incredible physique. She, 
and like gorgeous she's sexy yeah what's wrong with her like nothing there's nothing zero things that it's amazing but i just i would watch her posing and we had like a challenge at work because all the girls were like okay we're gonna do this and (laughs) none of us could do it but my point is is like that's just not me i am just not like this uber yeah but and so (laughs) <laughs> me just trying looked hilarious but I do think just staying true to you and just having what you know and doing what you know what you feel best I I do think that is huge so you yeah. have to be comfortable like you're already almost naked so be comfortable. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you're almost naked so don't do anything too crazy no, no you're absolutely right <laughs> Don't be too comfortable up there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that shows when you're comfortable and you're you. So. Yeah. I totally completely agree. agree. So I just need to practice posing a little bit just to kind of get the wind going. Good. Well, I'm yeah. sure. I have no doubt it will be amazing. And it's safe. <laughs> Yay. Well, we'll all be in Columbus in four weeks and you guys have yes. four more weeks of dieting. and Yeah. Yeah, it'll be a great time. What'd you say? Nervous? I said, like, I said we got you, this. What's that? Yeah. Did you get nervous still? <clears throat> no. I Well, okay. Come, like, maybe right before stage, I'll get a little nervous. But I'm not nervous right now. And you know why? It's because I I think about everything else that I have. And this is just the cherry on top, you know, like I have an amazing family. I have all these other great, I've, you know, I've, I, I'm, I'm so happy with my life that this is, this is just a cherry on top. So that's how I look at every show. And I, and I, um, you know, it's just another show with a big name. <laughs> <laughs> no, good. that's good. That's awesome. I'm happy. I think for- it's- I think it's so cool seeing, you know, just you two as competitors next to each other because Alexandria is young and a new face to a lot of people. And then Camille, you've been around for so long. No, but you've been around and you've you've been in the winner's circle for so long. And I feel like you guys, though, have very similar mindsets and viewpoints when it comes to contest prep and your energy that you give off and you know, just how you mentally are going into a show. So it's awesome. You guys are both so great. So I can't wait. We're, we're, we're supporters. But one thing I want to add really quickly before we get off is that Alexandria and I won the same show. You were, it was the show right before you got your pro card. I think it was the, was it the governor's, the golden state? No governor's cup. No, we, we were both in the banner together. We were both yeah. in the poster. And yeah. you were in the poster for the NPC. But by the time that show came back around, you were already a pro. I was. Ah. I remember that was a bad poster. I did. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You were not a fan of the picture they chose. <laughs> it was a bad, I had a makeup faux pas that day. But um. <laughs> that happens. It did not look bad. It looked great. But yes, I know. We did share a poster. And that was kind of cool to see. And it was cool to come back. And I was like, oh, now I'm a pro. Anything can happen. It's crazy what can happen in a year. So Isn't that the truth? Well, it wasn't just a year. It was a long time in the making. True. It was (laughs) just a year. It was a long time. So put in some time. But wouldn't take any of that time back. It was a good time. Yeah. Well, Alexandria, it was really nice to actually officially meet you yes. and talk to you and um, I wish you the best of luck the next four weeks. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see you in Ohio. Yes, I'm very, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited too. And good luck in four weeks, Camille. Do your posing. <laughs> I'm going to follow up with you. Now you're going to get a checkup on. <laughs> and I are going to call you and check up on you. I'll make sure you're doing it. So, <laughs> thank you. Accountability. Yes, we will keep you accountable. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thanks for coming on. And we will see you in Columbus. Yes, looking forward to it, ladies. Take care. Good right. luck with the rest of your prep. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, how do I log off? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> right now with the theme. Two. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye. Well, that was awesome having Alexandria on. She is always such a good energy, and I'm so excited to see what she did. You know, it, it wasn't uh, too long of an off season either between the Olympia and Arnold, so it'll be interesting to see how that that plays out. Yeah, well, con- considering that she did 17 shows last year, three months off, that's a, yeah. that's a nice chunk of time for her. Um, yeah. So yeah, it was it was uh, it'll be interesting to see what they have been able to do with that time period, and yeah, she was I've never actually like really officially talked to her before, and I everyone always just raves about her, and it was really cool to finally meet her. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> <laughs> zoom tight. I had to zoom. Oh, sneeze. I'm sneeze. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Kyle. Yes, absolutely. I know, right. <laughs> You just start holding up signs. Make your life easier. <laughs> Cut here. <Yeah. laughs> okay, ready? Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Book or movie? Movie. Cheeseburger or hamburger? Hamburger. <laughs> Superman or Batman? <laughs> um, I'm I'm gonna have to go with Batman. Okay. How about this one, Froyo or ice cream? Froyo for sure. All right, all right, all right. Fruits or vegetables? Vegetables. All right, I gotta pick a good one here. Hmm. Breakfast food or dinner food? Dinner food. Yeah, I think I would go with breakfast. Really? Okay. It would be breakfast. What's your favorite breakfast? I'm a basic bacon, eggs, some potatoes, because I like to do the potatoes with the eggs and then eat the bacon on its own. Pumpkin pie? I do love pumpkin pie, but I'm spoiled. My mom used to make homemade pumpkin pie every year, so <laughs> it was just always amazing. So my taste buds are a little rotten. Yeah, basic. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, okay. Last one, online shopping or in-person shopping? Mm, online. Me too. Yeah. I actually hate, like, shopping, shopping. Oh, I feel horrible. Waste of time. I love it. I get so bored. Wrap it up, kids. Yeah, come on. It's been two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's on a time schedule. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Well, you heard it here first. Don't know and we would like to thank our sponsors, Maximum Beauty. Maximum Beauty. For all your beauty needs. All your beauty needs. All 2020 competition season long will be all over. Schedule is on MaximumMostReport.com where you're watching this. So just go click on Maximum Beauty at the top. Yeah, so thank you for tuning in, guys, and Sarah. Make sure you subscribe above, like us, comment, let us know what you like, guys want to see subscribe, more of. Thumbs up. But you don't want to see more of. None of that. <laughs> <laughs> that Until part. next time. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Keep that part to yourself. <laughs> right. <laughs> no one asked. <laughs> no, we, we, we would like to hear your feedback, because we are trying to, this is for you guys, and it's fun, um, but we want to, you know, your feedback is important provide, to us. Right. Provide you guys with knowledgeable information and things that, you know, you maybe have been curious on with different athletes, you know, the industry, bikini division in general. And we are here to answer and bring yeah. that content to you guys. So let us know. And until next time, I'm Sarah Lyon. I'm Camille Perriott signing out. The Bikini Show. Peace.